Did you ever have a teacher like this? No, no, that's not right. You need to color in one straight line back and forth. Don't go in circles. Stay inside the lines. Or did you have a teacher like this? Oh, sweetie, you don't have to color inside the lines. You can be creative and fun. You can go outside of them. You could add polka dots and stripes and chevron zigzags, whatever you want. In fact, I'll show you this demonstration on how to make something really messy and chunky and fun, okay? To create the background for my lollipop art project, I used a page from an old road atlas. I thought the map would give it a unique look for the background, but you could also use newsprint or tissue paper. Then I used Mod Podge and a foam brush to adhere it to the canvas. Next I added color to the background by using a variety of acrylic paints. First I apply the paints with a paintbrush, but then I go over and scrape it with one of those plastic credit cards you get in your junk mail. Don't throw those out, they're good for scraping the paint across your map. This way, you'll get some of the map to show through without too much thickness of the paints covering it up. This next part is fun and messy, just as a heads up. Find things with patterns around your house to give your background texture, like embossing templates, bubble wrap, or corrugated cardboard. Now it's time to add the lollipop trees. Using scrapbook paper, I tore circles for the tops of the trees and long triangular pieces for the trunks. I like to use the tearing method because it does add a little more dimension to your project and gives the paper a white, crisp edge. Then I mod podged the whole scene onto the background. At this point, my project is looking very colorful, but it's also looking a whole lot of crazy. So to make my lollipop trees pop off the background a little more, I'm using some markers to add some dimension and some shading. This way, they won't just all blend together. It'll add that extra pop that I need. Now just like I did with my background, I'm going to use some more texturizing tools to add a little more dimension to my lollipop trees and their trunks. Using a variety of stamps and dye-based inks, I add some graphics and some typefaces to my project. I also use a variety of rub-ons to add a little more pow to my project. In conjunction with shading, outlining helps to define the trees. I also like to doodle a little bit here and there. The final step is to give it one more coat of Mod Podge to seal in all those layers and to give it a finished look. I guess that, that's pretty good. I guess you've earned yourself a C. You stayed inside the lines. All right. <laughs>